All right. So what we're going to do today is do something which is related to the chapter you've been reading. How many of you read the chapter last night? Good. What was the chapter about towards the end? Inertia. Inertia. Oh, I thought we were Great. <laughs> Good job, Nate. Okay. So what we're going to do is practice inertia. And inertia is what? Can you give me an, uh, an idea of what inertia is, Adam? No, momentum is something you haven't learned about yet. Inertia it has something to do with slowing the rate of. It has a tendency to what? Planets or whatever. Well, I will agree. Inertia, like gravity, isn't it like it acts on gravity? Okay, so let me let me explain. Inertia is the property of an object that makes it resist changes in its motion. So, you know that the heavier something is, even if it's on wheels, the more difficult it is to both get it moving and to stop it, right? And there's a measure of inertia that we use, and that measurement is called... Anyone? Have a guess. What is it about the object? Because it doesn't matter whether it's in outer space or it's on the Earth. Movement? It's weight. Weight. Almost, not weight. Mass. It's mass, exactly. And how do we measure mass in the SI system? Grams. Newtons. No. Grams is kilograms. close, but kilograms, right. Only chemists use grams. Okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to balance this hoop, right, on top of the bottle, and then you're going to balance, hopefully, ultimately, 20 of these nuts on top of the hoop in a stack. And then what you're going to do is you're going to remove the hoop and have all the nuts fall in the bottle. Oh, we had to do that in softball, but you had to have two softballs and hit the bottom one, and then have the top one fall on the... Ah, interesting. It was difficult. Yeah. Well, this is a similar, similar concept. So what I want you to do is all get to it. I think you should do it in groups of two. You have 20, you have 20 um, nuts each. If you, can, if you can demonstrate getting 20 nuts in, I'll let you play basketball. 20 nuts in the bottle. So you can stack them all on top, pull the hoop out, and if you get 20 nuts, oh, you know what? I would try to make a stable table like that. So they need to be stacked one on top of the other. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, look it. I'm close. Let's have a look. Whoa. Okay. Look at this. That's a lot. All right. Now so, what do I do? Two more. No, 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 just wait. I would suggest that you try doing it like that first. Now, there's a technique that will help you. What do you think you have to do that's going to make those nuts fall? You're going to have to do what to the hoop? <laughs> Hit it. Really what? Hard. Why? So this doesn't move. Exactly. So what will help is if someone could very steadily hold the bottom, right? You want to hit it with these? Oh, can we put these on too? Um, if you feel you can get them on without no, the rest don't. falling off. Okay, now hit right, so really hard. a suggestion yeah. is that really what you want to do is either hit from the inside, right? Like, and you want to keep it going. It's Oh, ah! <laughs> oh, we're so glad. Hey, got it! Oh, all but one. Right. Good job. Can I play basketball? No, you need to get 20 in. <laughs> no, no, no. you gotta, hey, you got to do it, it with 20. you got to do it with 20.
Ah, you are not allowed to have the nail. Oh, we're not? In the, in the, when you uh, have them stacked. The nail you could use for stacking, but then you need to have the nail, the nail out of it. Okay. So All right? Yeah, you can put them on the nail, right, and then pull the nail out. Yeah, that's the reason for the nail. But one of the nice things you might want to do is actually flatten them so they're all sitting nice and on top of one another. So if what you do is you do this, right? See how they all line up like that? And then put them all on, right? And then that will make it more stable. The other thing you might want to do is use the little groove here and say, indicator of whether you're upright. So you go back there and you say, is that groove upright? No, it's not. It needs to change it. So you know exactly where you need to put it. Right, is that exactly upright? Go back. And you should be able to check it with your eye. Oh, okay. All right. Is anybody close to getting it? So, um, Adam and um, Nate, we have you working separately. It's actually better to work as a team. If the team does it, you get to play basketball. <laughs> well, it looks like Nate has all 20 sitting on top of there. <laughs>